Good morning, YouTube. Today, we are going on a little bit of an adventure. We are going to New York City, gonna be doing the case study, and we didn't finish up the video for last time, so we'll probably be adding those data points, some of the footage from last month's um, check-in, which was kind of more of the same. Kevin, you're losing muscle. You're apparently, your body fat percentage is going up during prep. So we're gonna see what the, the numbers are like this week or this month, and hopefully they're going in the right direction. So we're gonna take you guys along, gonna drive to the bus station, and then going over to New York City. All right, so we made it to New York, and I have some buses behind me, but just picked up what I'm gonna have after I'm done fasting. The, what is it? Core Power Elite, 42 grams of protein. There's only three and a half fat and 10 carbs, so this is a really easy way to get 40 grams of protein, um, because I have to be fasted for this. So I haven't eaten since yesterday, and um, it's right now almost 10 a.m. So about to get into uh, Lehman College, it's coming up on my left, and we're gonna get this research underway. Ready? Go. Okay. I'm on 16 or 76. Like Darth Vader. Hold your electrodes. And go! Go, 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 Body fat's actually up a little bit more, which is really interesting, although I am pretty leaner, which is interesting. So we'll get to that in a moment, but we started off the day. Um, we did my heart rate, and I was at 56 again, so that kind of shows us that it was 56 last month, 56 this month. Two months ago, we had kind of an uh, anomaly or just kind of a blip where I was an elite athlete for a day at 48 um, beats per minute uh, at that time. That was my first time being sub 50, but showing more consistency around 56. Uh, blood pressure was like 120, no, 115, 120 over like 78. So the diastolic was a little bit higher, which was just something a little interesting, food for thought. Um, then we went into, um, what do we do after that? After? Okay, blood pressure, heart rate. We got into the mask. Oh yeah, the mask. So the mask, my uh, calories burned was again like 21, 28 or around there. So. No real big changes from last month to this month, but again, two months ago, I think there was a 100 calorie difference. So, nothing too much of a difference there. But then we went into the in-body scan. It's, we had some interesting things go on here. My weight was 212 uh, today. My skeletal muscle mass was down to 110.5, which was the same as, I believe, oh no, that was just now. So, that's about three pounds less of lean body mass than the previous month. So that kind of threw off things a little bit. Two months ago, I was 7.6% body fat. Last month, I was 8.2% body fat. This month, I was 9.1% body fat. Body fat's going up. You can see my pictures, even my weight. I do look a lot leaner, but it's interesting that I guess that body fat coming down, or not that body fat, that skeletal muscle mass coming down that's kind of affecting these numbers in that way. So, according to all this, we're down like six pounds, but we're only down 0.4% body fat. But if you look previous, we were down 2% body fat. Um, we went from 219 down to 215. So, interesting things uh, that we're just gonna have to keep an eye on over time, to see if anything changes. The last four weeks of training were a lot better than the previous month, so I'm very interested to why things are where they are. Um, one. One factor or confounder that I think is playing into this is my carbs did get dropped pretty significantly. So probably more glycogen depleted, less glycogen in the muscle. That can be also maybe showing a little bit less in terms of weight of the muscle. So that's one thing that I think is like going on here. But of course, we'll see over time and we have a plan for the carb load and carb depletion to try to get some data um, in a two day period of deplete carbs 
carb up and then see what the difference in numbers are gonna be by doing two drop-ins here. So, stuff to just keep an eye on. My percent body fat, yeah, 9.4% or 9.1%. Uh, so, dude, we're like back to where we started at like 9.5, but that was some of the data that came from uh, this. We did our, of course, the, whatever those are called. We got our Calibers. caliper stuff. And um, so those numbers, I don't really have, but that'll be like published eventually. So that's the majority of everything today. And my strength on the diamometer, I believe was up slightly, which was pretty cool. And then the jump, um, not too sure how the numbers went. I'll email Brad and hopefully I have that data right here. But that's pretty much it for this month. Again, another month of interesting results. The whole body fat percentage is very interesting um, that it is on the trajectory up, but also I know I'm looking a lot leaner. I'm thinking that the carb depletion may have a little bit to play with it. I'm at 190 carbs as opposed to 300 carbs like three weeks ago. So maybe that's playing a factor of less uh, glycogen in the muscle, but we'll see over time. So that's pretty much it for this video. Our next one, we're gonna be checking in here again in four weeks. So uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, we'll be sub 9% body fat. All right, what's going on, guys? I'm sitting in the bus station right now. I count like 20 minutes until my bus leaves. So let's go over how today went for the case study, which I'm actually pretty happy about this one. Um, so we did the end body. I did forget to take a picture of it. But um, the body fat percentage, I do remember. My weight was 207 this time, 207.4 or something. Um, and body fat percentage was 7.8. 7.6% or something like that. So it is on the way down. Of course, um, last year when I was 210 or between 209 and 212, somewhere in between there, I was 6.9%. So on a separate in body scan, um, and it was a different model, which I'm noticing this certain model, the 770, which is supposed to be a little bit more accurate, um, that my body fat percentage has been higher um, predominantly. And that was even when I switched like a, a week apart. So that was a big improvement from the previous uh, month where I was something like in the nines. So into the seven, so like 2% drop. And my lean body mass was the same. So technically, according to the sim body, I lost five pounds and it was all body fat. So that was according to this thing. So it was a pretty productive month overall. Um, interesting thing too is the way that the lean body went. Lean body mass was like one, I think 113 and then all of a sudden over like one period dropped three pounds of lean body mass but it's been consistently staying there at 110 the past couple months so interesting data but that's how it has been so um good news two percent body fat down it hasn't been climbing anymore so like in the mid nines to the mid sevens um other things weight of course down like five pounds last month blood pressure still about 112 over 70 pretty much always there honestly even when I'm bulking I take it to like 120 over 70 um, I'm actually surprised that it's not lower at this point um, it hasn't changed that that much heart rate um, it was 48 elite athlete at one point two months ago last month it was like 56 back to like kind of my normal and now we have 52 today uh, which is pretty cool um, the calipers I really don't know how to evaluate that but um, I was getting pinched a little harder because I guess there's less body fat there. Um, we also went into the jump height. I think that's starting to take a hit. Um, 20.3 inches. That's my vertical right now. Don't, don't make fun of me. Um, besides that, uh, the biggest, biggest change that was really interesting today was my resting metabolic rate, my BMR. Um, it was tested when I sit there with the gas mask. I do that for 15 minutes and it like kind of estimates that it was 1980 1980 calories I'm burning at rest I think at the beginning of this whole study was like something like 23 2400 um, and I I know at least one of the previous two months I was at 21 21 20 or 21 40 so we lost almost 200 calories in four weeks off my BMR which is kind of kind of brutal but it is what it is um, so that's pretty much the main points of data for this uh, this month last month um, which will show, hopefully I have the data points there. My strength was good on the uh, dynamometer. This month, I think, I think my strength was there. I didn't actually get a chance to look at that number, but overall, things are going in the right direction. Um, the researchers are saying I'm looking a lot leaner. Um, the in-body is finally saying that I'm looking a lot leaner, um, even though 
the past couple of months. As you guys, if you have been following, it was saying my body fat percentage was going up throughout this prep. But that's pretty much it for this video. I think these are going in the right direction. Next month is gonna be really interesting. We're doing this in another four weeks. Um, and that's gonna be pretty much like a week or a week and a half out from my first competition, which hopefully I would like to be sub 6% body fat on this in body for that. Um, and then also we have really cool data coming up from my third show, which will be I guess three weeks after the next thing. We're gonna do um, early in the week, see where I'm at carb depleted. And then we're gonna do um, the carb load, see where I'm at like the day before the show. And then I'm driving from New York to DC and then the next morning we'll be competing. So really exciting stuff coming up. Um, I hope you guys are liking following along, seeing how this case study is run. Um, so this should be combined with last, last month. And yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Keep it flexible. I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.